Welcome to our channel Science Circle. Science Circle is here today to discuss about metals and non-metals. Before we start with the chapter, let us recall about elements. What are elements? Elements are chemical substance that cannot be broken down into any other substances. An element is a pure substance consisting of only one type of atom, which all have the same number of protons in their nuclei. Elements can be classified into metals and non-metals. So what is a metal? Majority of the elements in the periodic table are metals. Most common examples of metals are like gold, silver, platinum, iron, magnesium, manganese, etc. and many more. In our daily life, we can see a lot number of metals which are used in various purposes. Hope you all remember the symbol of the elements. If not, check out my previous videos. Link will be provided in the description box. Periodic table includes a variety of metals in it as like alkali metal, transition metal, alkaline earth metal and a few more. Metals are separated by non-metals on the periodic table through a zigzag line starting from the carbon till radon. The elements between the two are phosphorus, psyllium and iodine. Here is a periodic table with the color demarcation to understand which one is metal, non-metal and the metalloids or semi-metal. The elements and the elements right to them in the periodic table are non-metals. Elements present just to the left of the line are termed as metalloids or semi-metals. We will discuss about this in the later part of the video. There are almost 70 metals out of 92 naturally occurring elements in the periodic table. Now let us discuss about the physical properties of the metal. Physical properties means by externally how would we identify the metals. Let us start with the malleability. What do we see here? Metals can be hammered into thin sheets. That is, it can be pressed or rolled into thin sheets without breaking. It is a property of a metal to deform under compressive force and take it to a new shape. Aluminium foils are used for wrapping foodstuffs. Silver foil is used for decorative purpose on sweets or fruits. So you can understand malleability allows the metal to be drawn into long thin sheets. Example of other metals are like silver, gold, iron, aluminium, copper, tin, lead, calcium, etc. Now comes our second property that is ductility. It is a physical property of metal which means if we pull the metal it is going to stretch rather than to break. This deformation is possible when the metal is possible undergoing a tensile stress. This property is used to make thin wires. The degree of ductility occurs due to the metallic bonds. So copper, steel can be drawn into thin long wires. Gold is the most ductile metal. Then what is brittleness? The property which allows material to break without forming a stretch under tensile stress is called brittle which we see in a glass. If you try to pull a glass, it won't stretch or it won't take the shape of a wire rather than it will break. The concrete etc. Here is a chart showing the difference between the ductility and the malleability. Go through it by pausing the slide. Next comes the luster which is another property of metals but absent in non-metals. It is a property where we will see the different metals they will shine. The shiny appearance of the metal is called metallic luster. The luster of the metal is due to the reflection of light 
which is caused by the presence of the mobile electrons or free electrons in the metal. For this property only we use gold, platinum to make our jewellery. But iodine and diamond which is also lustrous but not a metal, they are non-metal. Again sodium is a metal which is non-lustrous as it does not have any free electrons. Lead is bright and silvery but its surface rapidly tarnishes in the air to give a non-lustrous appearance. The metals lose their shine or brightness on keeping in the, in the air for a long time as they acquire a dull appearance due to the formation of a thin layer of oxide or carbonate or sulphide over its surface. So, we have till now discussed the three main properties, malleability, ductility and luster. Now we will come with the next that is the sonority. Can you hear a sound? Ringing sound? It is a property to produce a ringing sound when struck. Some metals are sonorous in nature. Hence, they are used in making various type of musical instruments. All the non-metals are non-sonorous. What is the school bell or the bell in the temple made up of? It is made up with the alloy of copper and tin. Silver when struck produces a very acute sound. Hence, it is the most sonorous metal. Now we will be discussing about the next property that is strength and hardness. We all know generally metals are hard and strong. Metals are having high tensile strength which is allowing to hold weights without snapping. So, metals are generally hard and strong except sodium and potassium. They are soft metals and they can be cut with the help of a knife because they are having low tensile strength. Whereas, non-metals are generally soft but yes, there is also an exception that is diamond. You know, diamond is the hardest known substance to us. So, strength measures how much stress can be applied to an element before it deforms permanently or fractures. And hardness measures a material's resistance to the surface deformation. For this reason, we generally use iron metal which is for constructing the bridges, railway lines, machines, vehicles, chain and many more. Now, we will be seeing the next property that is conductivity. Metals are good conductors of heat and electricity. Metals like aluminium and copper are used to make utensils for cooking. So, the metallic bottom of the utensil transfers the heat of the gas stove quickly to the food inside to be cooked. Silver is the best conductor of heat and electricity. Copper metal is also a better conductor of heat than the aluminium metal. Here is a small chart. Metals can conduct electricity by allowing free electrons to move between the atoms. Non-metals are bad conductors of heat and electricity. But there is again an exception. Graphite, which is a good conductor of electricity. So, graphite is used to make the electrodes. The poorest conductor of heat among the metal is lead. Mercury metals is also a poor conductor of heat. So, what are electric wires made up of and why? Copper and aluminium metals because they are the good conductors of electricity. These two metals are generally used for making the electric wires. Again, electric wires that carry current in our homes are generally covered with a polyvinyl chloride that is PVC coating. Why is this so? Because it acts as an insulator or a bad conductor of electricity. 
most of the metals like iron copper aluminium gold silver are solid in room temperature but mercury which remains liquid state at room temperature which we use in the thermometer metals are also having high melting and boiling point but again sodium and potassium is not in this group solid iron melts and turns into liquid iron on heating at 1535 degrees celsius whereas copper melts at a high melting point at 1083 degrees celsius the melting point again of gallium and cesium are too low they can start melting even when kept in hand there is always a diversity in metals and non metals also here is a small chart showing you the difference in the physical properties of metals and non metals we will be discussing about the chemical properties of the metals in my upcoming video before closing up for today let us discuss about metalloids what are metalloids these chemical elements whose physical and chemical properties fall in between metal and non metal category some common examples of metalloids are arsenic germanium antimony silicon boron polonium and tellurium Typically metalloids have a metallic appearances but they are usually brittle and only a mediocre electricity conductor so they are called as semiconductor also chemically they behave as non metals they have a shiny substance that are usually solid at ambient temperatures but they are having the ability to form the metallic alloy Thank you for watching my video please don't forget to subscribe my channel before closing it hope you will like my video and please do share my video if you like it thank you